Good afternoon, people. Today, whoa, bog. Tony loves Scotland and its bogs. But today, we are going hunting. And for what you may ask, we are going hunting for waterfalls. So I imagine at times the sound quality is going to be pretty bad due to the no noise of these various waterfalls. But you can probably hear getting slightly louder. In the background, there's a river. Now, I have looked on various apps and various maps, and there doesn't seem to be a footpath that leads to this waterfall. And true Scottish tradition, they don't seem to have things like footpaths everywhere. So it's gonna be very much exploring and hoping for the best. But it is somewhere up that hill there. That's where the waterfall that I could see from the road all the way back down that way is. Now, the only way to get there without a footpath is to walk roughly in that direction or to follow the river. The river at the moment it looks like it's in a bit of a gorge, so it's going to be challenging. It's going to be challenging. But I've got my fingers crossed, hoping for the best, and hoping we come away with something worthwhile. But there's only one way to find out, and that's by getting this walk on. So I've made it down by the waterfall. Looking great, by the way. There is a lot of noise. There is trees everywhere falling over. And my next challenge is gonna to be to cross the river because the waterfall I've seen is in that direction. And the terrain on the other side of the river looks a little bit more manageable. So crossing this torrent is gonna to be difficult. So the river is taking a, uh, a little bit of a twist from what I was hoping for. I was hoping all of that flow that I've been following was heading up towards that waterfall. Now there's a little tributary just over there and that's where my waterfall's coming out of. It's not the most amount of water, but not all waterfalls need a huge volume of water to look impressive because what happens is it gets shallow and it goes over rocks. So it can look still very good without hardly any flow. Now, how good is my balance feeling today? Because just over here, I've got these two trees. And uh, I think this, if they're strong enough, is how I'm going to get across. I'm across. Thank you, helpful trees. Now, let's go find this waterfall. Just crossed another useful little bridge. There we are, that one cracked as I was going across it though, which did not make me feel very confident. But I'm across, so life's good. And this river is starting to look pretty sweet. Check this out. So I think I'm actually gonna get my camera out for this scene. Um, and I'll show you why. Something quite interesting, but I'm not sure if my camera will pick it up. So what I've got is this beautiful little scene. And then just above the scene, I've got these mini streams of water falling and splashing against this log. And that'll almost be my focal point if my camera can pick it up in any decent way. I'm gonna go in quite tight on the bottom of this waterfall to hopefully make this more accentuated the beautiful drips coming off that little cliff so 
So I've got my composition all dialed in. I've got this beautiful rock just down here and I'm really, really liking this rock. But that splash on that log just up here is completely lost, completely lost and no good. So I like the composition and I like my shot. My settings were 1.6 from the second, F11, L10 and it looks like a nice shot. I'll show you that image now. But what I really want to do is I want to try and isolate them splashes on that log. So I'm going to move up onto this top tier just above and see if I can work something out a little bit more intimate. So I finally got my scene set and what I've decided to go for is put my camera in the riskiest position possibly to hopefully capture something special. Now, I've done a test shot and I'm not 100% sure it was worth all the effort that I put into it, but you never know. It might come out being absolutely lovely. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the back of the screen, I'm going to turn my camera onto film so you can see what I've done. So bearing in mind I have had to adjust my settings slightly, but I'm going to jump to this screen, use the voice coming from here, and hopefully make something good. So what I've got, so what I've got is I've got this little waterfall just over here and it's coming down and I'm gonna crop this out because what I have actually set it into is a 5-4. Um, then I've got this beautiful log coming across and these, I've centralized these raindrops coming down this way and I love the splash coming across the top there. I think it's absolutely beautiful and the water running out of the scene and I'm hoping this is gonna act like a little bit of a leading line pointing up into here with this coming across the top. So my settings, I've got it on F9, ISO 320. The reason why is because I want a fast shutter speed um, because I did one with a long shutter speed but what happens is it kind of gets rid of the lines coming down off the rocks which is the whole point of the image, that's my focal point. So I've got it on a fast shutter speed shooting on one sixth of a second which isn't really fast, but hopefully it'll be fast enough to capture enough of that information of them water drops falling and the splatters across the log to make something interesting. All there's time for now is to get this shot fired. So here we are. So that is the shot complete. It's time to pack up and head a little bit higher to see what else we can find. I found it. A1 anyway, a big waterfall. But I have a feeling the one just above it that you can't quite make throughout the trees is the one that I could see from the road down there. All I can see is spray, but that spray looks big. Now for this waterfall, as beautiful as it is, there's too many distractions. There's a branch going across just over here. In the plunge pool at the bottom, it's just filled for the trees, which it would be, it's in a wood. That would be. Anyway, uh, so I think I'm gonna have to backtrack and then try to find my way up that cliff somehow. And yet again, time to cross another river. So I think I found a little section that is crossable. Just down here. Now it's not deep, but there is nothing to hold on to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my tripod out and turn myself into a tripod by using that as a balancing aid because I don't want to get wet not with all my camera gear so I've got my tripod extended now fingers crossed this works but I'm going to film the experience just so you know if I do fall in I've got something to put on the bloopers reel luckily these rocks are not too slippery using the trusty aid of the tripod I made it across now, 
I've got a steep climb ahead of me. See you at the top. So I'm at the top, made it, and I think I've just come to possibly waterfall heaven. I'm pretty high up. I suppose you could class it as a heaven of waterfalls, but this place, not gonna lie, it's pretty epic. Check this out. Look at that. Now, first of all, I got to go down there. Definitely want to get a shot of the whole thing. It's pretty spectacular. But then I'm going to have a little explore, maybe a little bit higher up here, and then uh, see what else is around. So, I've got ideas, and they are all quite simple, but I'm not sure how much of this bottom river I want to put in. So, I'm going to show you through them. So I've got the composition all set up and it's looking great. I'm really enjoying this composition. I really like this little rush of water down here, leading your eye up and around into this big waterfall. I've centralized these three tiers. I'm hoping that I've got the same gap on this side and the same gap on this side. And this is almost running straight down the center. What I really like is the way the water rushes up into this little bit here and then around out the top. I have had to drop a, uh, my neutral density filter onto the front because the highlights up here are so bright. But when I'm in picture mode, it looks perfect. Absolutely perfect. My settings for this, 1.6 seconds, F13, L10, my lowest ISO, which is, yeah, pretty spot on. And here's the finished image. So here is my second composition. Uh, I don't know which one I prefer yet. Now remember, I don't know how to get rid of this bar down here and this bar down here. So it will be slightly wider when I take the final image. But the composition the starts down here at this waterfall, up around into that flat point, up into this waterfall here and, and out the top. So quite similar to what I did before. But what I've done differently with this is I've changed my settings. I've sped up my shot, ISO 200, F9, which has given me one eighth of a second exposure. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna bracket this shot because the highlights are so bright and the shadows are so dark. I've done it so I've got my base exposure on the darkest point. That's what I've got it set on, so none of them highlights are blown out. And then I'm shooting in half a stop of light forward so it's going to be brighter and brighter and brighter and then that's going to freeze that water that little bit more on each one so i'm just going to fire that off now and see how they look and then i'll show you and i'll have a little talk through what i'm going to do So I've enjoyed this little section of waterfall, but I, I just want to see what's more. Like, this is the problem. Um, I've, I'm not very patient, I'm working on a scene. I get the shot, I'm happy with what I get. And normally when I get back, I'm a little bit like, oh, I should have done this, should have done that, should have done the other. But hindsight, there's a reason why it's called. And that is because, you know, you get back and you always think that a little bit more. But I'm gonna head higher and see what else I can get because, you know, I'm impulsive like that, but I'm happy with what I've got here. Let's see what else I can find. I think it's time for a quick water break. Oh yeah. See you at the top. Sorry, this is probably gonna be another long vlog, but the place is just so interesting. It's hard not to vlog for long. Right, see you at the top. I think I've come up as far as I'm gonna go. It just seems to go up and flatten off a little bit up there. Now, the adventure has been amazing. The photography, nah, it's been okay. It's been okay. I think I've captured some nice ideas. Whether the compositions turn out okay, 
Who knows? Who knows? Right, I'm going to go back across the river the way I came. Yep, that is the fifth time I've crossed this river, I think. There is only one more shot I am going to capture, and that is back down Loch Goyle Head. So I've got my final shot all composed and it is half five and I've kind of in two minds whether to sit here for two hours until the light gets good or just to get this shot, remember this location and come back at a later date. I think I'm going to come back at a later date. I don't fancy sitting here for two hours. But this is one hell of a composition. Now the way I'm going to sh show you the composition is by through the camera. So let's click to video mode. Now my idea is I will focus on this rock here. I capture the water coming down through the scene, and then I'm going to focus on this rock over here. Take another shot, and then I'm going to pan up very, very carefully, very carefully trying to keep that center line in the same place until I get it lined up with that mountain at the end. There we are, nice and level again. Until I get it lined up with this guy right at the very end of my scene. And then I'm going to drop in my medium grad filter, which won't have been on by this point, but it is on at the moment. And then I will capture the sky Okay, because obviously that's much brighter being half five in the afternoon. But this scene is going to be look lovely with that water flowing through and I've pointed it so it's right center in the middle down here and that's guiding your eye off into that mountain right at the very end. And the way the valley curves, you've got different peaks on either side. Oh, it just creates so much depth and drama in the scene. Such a beautiful day as well. Now, if only I could fast forward time, but also I don't fancy climbing back down that hill in the dark. Now, if I can find a footpath that gets us up here, this is a location I will capture many times. My settings for this, I've got it on F11, L10, my lowest ISO, and I'm, it's always going to be one fifth of a second until I drop in that neutral density filter and then it goes up to and then it goes into one tenth of a second and that's just because I've dropped that in the front so it's going to be a little darker even though it is much brighter out there and I focus stacked it beautifully sharp all the way through I think it's going to be a nice shot but that is going to be all from me this week I'll leave you with the image that I've just shot at the end of this video um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. There will be many, many more coming from Argyle. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to hit me. Give me a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you've been watching my content, make sure to subscribe. Higher subscriptions, more likely I'm going to get more views and, you know, all the rest of that. And if you want to see it as soon as released on a Friday, don't forget to hit the bell. But other than that, have a lovely weekend and I'll see you next time.